Can earthquakes trigger volcanic eruptions? Here's what USGS has to say and the science behind this. They say sometimes, yes, a few large regional earthquakes greater than magnitude 6 are considered to be related to a subsequent eruption or some type of unrest at a nearby volcano. Now let's take a look and remember what we had on March 18, 5.7 magnitude in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. And Salt Lake City, right under that area of Utah, has eight or nine volcanoes on that fault line leading from Baja, California, up to uh, through Salt Lake City, Utah, into straight up into uh, Wyoming, into Yellowstone. That has magma underneath. That's a mantle plume up there. That magma then turns west into Idaho. And uh, on March 31st to uh, April 1st, we had a 6.5. 5 earthquake in Idaho, just north of Boise, Idaho, and that's another area of volcanic fields. So let's keep that in mind, because this is exactly what USGS is telling us here, that magnitude greater than 6 earthquakes are considered to be related to a subsequent eruption or some type of unrest at a nearby volcano. These are their words, and I'll leave a link for you for this. However, volcanoes can only be triggered into eruption by nearby tectonic earthquakes if they are already poised to erupt. This requires two conditions to be met. They say one is enough eruptible magma within the volcanic system and two, significant pressure within the magma storage region. So if those conditions exist, it's possible that large tectonic earthquakes might cause dissolved gases to come out of the magma, like a shaken soda bottle, increasing the pressure and possibly leading to an eruption. So tectonic earthquakes are among the most powerful natural phenomena on the planet. Uh, we just had a, a, a volcanic eruption with a, a large uh, ash cloud, and I'll have another up, uh, update for you on that. Now, it's not surprising that uh, they are sometimes suspected of being able to trigger volcanic eruptions. Earth's volcanoes are located in seismically excitable parts of the world, as we know on the Pacific Plate, the Ring of Fire. And um, it ha this area hosts 90% of the world's recorded earthquakes and 75% of all active volcanoes. So in such seismic hotspots, eruption and earthquakes are often taking place at about the same time. That's exactly what you'd expect, despite frequent breathless spe speculation online you can't automatically assume that there's a connection between a given earthquake and a subsequent eruption. The volcano may have already been preparing to erupt, or it's already erupting for a long time, says volcanologist Janine Krippner. There are still questions of whether earthquakes can cause volcanic eruptions, a serious research topic that experts have been investigating for centuries. Multiple lines of evidence from recent studies suggest that a connection could potentially exist in certain situations. So where do scientists currently stand on this issue? Atsuko Namiki, Associate Professor of Geosciences at Hiroshima University in Japan, highlights geophysical studies with data that suggest a connection. In 1993, a paper he writes links a magnitude 7.3 earthquake in California to volcanic and geothermal rumblings immediately after that. In 2012 study reckons that a magnitude 8.7 earthquake in Japan in 1707 forced deeper magma into a shallow chamber, triggering a huge blast of Mount Fuji only 49 days after that. Even the ever-cautious U.S. Geological Survey says that sometimes, yes, as we just read, earthquakes can trigger eruptions. The agency suggested some historical examples imply that an earthquake's severe ground shaking or its ability to otherwise change the local pressure surrounding the magmatic source nearby can trigger volcanic unrest. And they cite the magnitude 7.2 earthquake on Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, November 29, 1975, which was quickly followed by short-lived eruption. But there are problems. First, the USGS stresses the triggering mechanism for these events are not well understood and papers linking quakes to later eruptions can really only speculate. Second, it's possible that the timing in all these examples was just a coincidence. Geologists must understand the specific exact triggering and rule out chance coincidence.
before a connection can be definitely made, and Earth's geological complexities make both extremely difficult. Now, squeezing out toothpaste, Sawi, a co-author on a more recent historical statistical analysis of the Bulletin of Volcanology, tries to circumvent the issue. The study focused only on more scientifically robust data from 1964 onwards, and it looked at smaller quakes of at least magnitude 6 that took place 500 miles from a volcanic eruption. So the team identified 30 volcanoes that have had at some point undergone a potentially triggered eruption. On a scale of days, the team found no evidence for, for triggering that could not be explained by chance alone. And the result actually goes against one of the findings of a 206 review featuring Michael Manga, Manga co-author of the paper. It's nice to see researchers not being afraid to make conclusions that go against their previous work, Oliver Lamb, volcanologist, said. This is how science should work, really. Now, uh, Jackie Kaplan Obra, associate professor of seismology at Western University, Washington, says that uh, actually highlight the paper actually highlights how unlikely it is that a quake couldn't trigger a could trigger an eruption. So how then could this long-term trend be explained? What may happen during those months that ruptures caused by quakes open up new pathways for viscous magma to flow out gradually to the surface? The shaking over time could also create additional bubbles in the magma, which increases pressure, a bit like shaking up a can of soda. Now, it's certainly not straightforward, and Namiki notes that skepticism about eruptions triggered by earthquakes is perfectly natural, but Eleonora Rivalta, group leader of Earthquakes and Volcanic Physics Research at GFZ Potsdam, suggests that the mood may slowly be shifting towards the possibility of a connection between earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. There are venues to explore outside statistics and lab simulations, and uh, the, vol the volcanologist suggests that if certain volcanoes are thought to be triggered by quakes, then the volcanic debris they eject could hold clues about the state of the magma reservoir before their eruption. And that may reveal if the quake really did make a significant difference or it may show that they were primed to erupt anyway, and the quake just accelerated the countdown to the eruption. And this is also on uh, USGS and National Geographic, and I'll leave links below for you for this. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. And uh, if you can, please support my Patreon account. Thank you so much. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.